Listen, 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 listen. We got breaking news to discuss in the world of professional wrestling. Shane O'Mac. We all know daddy's boy. Um, here comes the money. We we all know what's going on with Shane O'Mac. This man is has had a meeting with Tony Khan. It is official. I know that it was a lot of speculation on what was going to happen. We heard all of the rumors that Shane could possibly be moving over. You see what's going on in the WWE. They clearly are solidified. Triple H, you know, is running things. You know, Paul Levette, Hunter Hearst Helmsley. You understand he's controlling things over there. And to see them meeting. And you know, we all know you got all all out coming up. You know, Wembley Stadium is going to be a movie. You know, everybody is anticipating that. Uh, it, it wouldn't be surprising if he has all of these surprises coming. Shane is going to AEW. You know, it clearly seems to be some kind of divide between him and WWE, um, the McMahon. I don't know what's going on. You know, clearly... Is some kind of competitive friction between himself, you know, his sister. Is something happening? Because why doesn't Shane have a place in the WWE? He, you telling me he can't get a job? You know, I mean, that's the. I mean, seriously, or does he even want it? You know, you gotta understand these people playing with billions of dollars. You understand? So uh, he probably don't want nothing to do with it. But clearly. Tony Khan, you know, they not sitting there talking about nothing, you know. So these are some some big time money makers that that, that know wrestling. Well, we know Shane does, and it's gonna be interesting to see because to be me personally, I think you need to bring Shane in, you know, so Shane could really up this this ante, you know, because it seemed like AEW want to have some competitive thing going on, but um. I don't know um, if they if they can match up, you know, but you could use a guy like Shane. This is the McMahon's son, you know, understand? He thought he was going to be running the business, you know, so you need to bring Shane in to, to get his input and, you know, in on this. You know, we got to get Shane's. He, he belongs in professional wrestling. And I, I'm giving, I'm looking at AEW now. It's so crazy because I'm, I actually gave it a shot. I watched Dynamite, and it's not bad, you know, but it just need a little sharpening it up here, there, you know, and I think that's what Shane could do. Um, we all know that Shane O'Mac is going to bring ratings. That's something that the WWE, I'm mean, part of me that, you know, the little rivalry they try to come at AEW about, Shane could fix that, you know. Um, also, you know, what about Shane in the ring? You know, we all know Shane could run. He could be that um, authoritative, um, pardon me, that authority role, similar to what we've seen with um, Triple H, Steph, um, and company. And then he actually can get physical. And we all know Shane in the ring. He's liable to jump off of this, hit you with that. I mean, come on. I seen Shane wrestle in person, too. I was at WrestleMania 33. They opened the show with Shane McMahon and AJ Styles. I thought that match was crazy. We I seen, um, we all know uh, Shane jumping from, um, you know, rope to rope. I mean, it's crazy with the gar on the garbage can. I mean, we seen all I seen all the iconic moves from Shane. Um, the man understand that it is in his bloodstream. You understand whether he um, wants to run away from the business. He want he will always be associated with the wrestling business. Same for Stephanie. As much as they want to run away, that they, they will always be associated with the wrestling business. You know. Um, uh, and even Linda, Linda done went into politics and everything, but she will always be associated with the real can run from this. You know, um, I want to get into some, you know, because I brought out, um, brought up the all in, um, uh, the, 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 what they got going on um, up at Wembley Stadium, you know, clearly is a situation where um, it, they, these guys are um, playing out there in London. If you've been monitoring what's going on, you understand, with with London and WWE, 
these guys are moving into that territory. You understand? This is something that I want y'all to understand. I'm going to leave y'all on this. You understand? And I think this is why we and all the real ones stuck around because I saved this for last. They playing with they playing with billions of dollars. You understand? AEW, they don't really have the strongest foothold, obviously, like WWE. WWE is just it's, it's a movie. You understand? But what AEW has done, they have established London is almost like their capital. If you you see WWE wasn't really playing too much out there in London, it seemed like they they eased up. Triple H is out here being a territorial machine. He out there really he can he's about to take over. You understand? So I don't know if AEW thought they had London to themselves, but Triple H just came over there and they he about to wreak complete havoc. You understand? You see him sitting there meeting with the big people. You understand? I don't know if Tony Khan meeting with them people that Triple H was meeting with. Triple H meeting with the heads of state out there in London. You understand? So you don't know what kind of behind the scenes stuff going on. I wouldn't be surprised if they cancel this all this stuff. I don't be surprised if they in another country. You know, they would they've been in London ever since. They might be somewhere, they might be back in Chicago. You understand? So um I'm just I'm just telling you, you understand the WWE is a completely different beast. You understand? It's a machine. Um it, it's nothing to be fooled with, you know, and AEW, they been taking shots some of their wrestlers some of these uh even tony to a certain extent you see tony khan throwing little slick stuff you know here and there you know triple h ain't said nothing you know it was a big ordeal going on around wrestlemania season where they was talking about the boss's daughter and this that and the third and all this stuff and pardon me um the rumors came out saying that basically Tony Khan, he 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 pulled an executive, you know, on that. He he told, you know, Will Osprey to go out there and say these things. You understand? Um, and it's looking like Triple H, he gonna fight them on a different level. You understand? He ain't going back and forth. He he doing things up behind the scenes. Like I said, the, like I'm repeating, what they are moving in on AEW stronghold. So I think this was a power move. What's going on right now? Because you got to understand something. They can't compete with the WWE, but Tony Khan, his father, they got big money. You understand? So m- billionaires, millionaires, they're gonna respect each other at some point. You understand? So you're gonna have him coming in here, bringing in the meeting with Shane. That's causing a lot of talk in WWE offices right now. I'm telling you, you understand? Because if they bring Shane in, that's a big problem. You understand? Because I'm just, you'll see. I'm going to leave it at that. It's Flight Sports TV. You already know what it is. Shout out Shane O'Mac and Pro Wrestling, man. is at an all-time high right now. You already know.